In this video, I'll go over backing up a macOS device using Synology's C2 Backup for individuals. Before being able to implement the backup, I'd like to play a snippet from my previous video on C2 Backup that will provide an overview of the service, as well as walk through signing up for C2 Backup using the affiliate link that is included in the description below. Please follow along with the steps to prepare for the remainder of the video. The advantage of using C2 Backup is that you can back up your personal computer directly to the Synology C2 Cloud without the need of having a Synology NAS as an intermediary. This is great if you have a laptop that you would like to back up but aren't always in the same location as your NAS. This also provides you an off-site backup of your data if you would like to keep in line with the 321 backup strategy providing the one offsite copy of your data. For details on the 321 backup strategy using Synology's various tools and services, check out this video listed here on screen, which I'll link to in the description below. Also, if you are interested in backing up the data on your Synology NAS to the C2 Cloud, you could do so by using Hyper Backup and C2 Storage, which I covered in this video listed here on screen which I'll also link to in the description below. For C2 Backup, which we'll be setting up in this video, I have an affiliate link that I've listed in the description below that you can use to sign up that provides you up to a 60-day free trial of the service. Now, I'll walk through the steps that you will need to go through to set up C2 Backup to back up your personal computer. First, you'll need to bring up Synology's C2 Backup for Individuals webpage and click on Get Started to sign up for a Synology account. If you already have a Synology account, you can either click on the Sign In option from the initial page we were on or click on the Already Have an Account link on this sign up page. In my case, I already have an account, so I'll go ahead and sign in. Note that if you use the affiliate link that is listed in the description below, you'll be presented with this 500 gigabytes for $34.99 a year subscription offer. I'd encourage you to sign up for this plan unless you need more storage because as of the recording of this video, Synology is providing a special offer of a 60-day free trial when you do sign up. If, however, you would like to sign up for either a monthly plan or a larger storage plan, you can still do that but you'll just get a 30-day free trial of C2 Backup. Also, during the setup process, you'll be prompted to create or enter your C2 encryption key. This key is used with all C2 services, so make sure not to forget it. You'll also get a pop-up window that provides you with your recovery code that you'll need to save as well. Remember, if you do lose or forget both the C2 encryption key and the recovery code, you won't be able to restore your backups, so make sure to save both and keep them handy when you do need to access any C2 service. I'll also link to Synology's C2 Backup Quick Start Knowledge Base article in the description below, which covers the entire setup process to get started with C2 Backup. In my case, I've already signed up, so I'll cancel this subscription step and I'll continue through the setup process where I'll be backing up a PC using C2 Backup. Now I'll move on with setting up my MacBook device, which is a 2020 Intel MacBook Pro with C2 Backup. Here I'm logged on to my Synology C2 account on the C2 Backup page under On-Premises with Personal Computer selected. I'll click Add Device, then download the macOS installer on this Add a New Device window. Next, I'll launch the package that was downloaded, which brings up this Welcome to C2 Backup installer window. I'll run through the setup steps, taking the default options that are presented to complete the installation process. At this point, the C2 Backup application starts up automatically, but I'll close it down for now to complete some additional configuration that needs to be done from the system settings which I already have open here on screen. In the case of macOS Ventura, which is what I have installed on my MacBook, I needed to bring up Privacy and Security, select Full Disk Access, 
and toggle on the option to allow access to C2 Backup. Note that depending on the version of macOS you're running, and if you have an Intel M1 or M2 device, the setup steps that are needed to allow C2 Backup to run properly may vary. I've included a few links in the description below that should help point you in the right direction to properly set up your macOS device. Now I'll start up the C2 Backup application on my MacBook once again and click on the Let's Start button to start up the configuration process. Next I'll log into my Synology C2 account. Click Done on this Summary window, then OK on this pop-up window to start backing up my MacBook. At this point you should see a pop-up like this one show up on screen displaying the progress of the backup which you can also display by clicking on the C2 Backup Agent in the toolbar as well. I'll let the backup complete, then I'll return to run through doing a file restore using the recovery portal. My MacBook has successfully been backed up with C2 Backup, and now I'd like to go over how to do a file level restore. I'll start by bringing up the C2 Backup webpage from the Synology C2 website where I'm logged in to my account. Here I'll click on the menu to the far right of my MacBook listing where I can either click on View in Recovery Portal or click on Version List if I would like to restore a file from an earlier backup. In my case I'll do a restore from the most recent backup by clicking on the menu to the far right of the most recent backup version then click View in Recovery Portal. This will launch the Recovery Portal in a separate tab where I'm prompted to enter in my C2 encryption key to mount the backup data. So I'll do that here, then click Continue. Now the recovery portal displays the contents of my backup. To restore a file, I'll navigate to Macintosh HD data, then root, then my user home directory. Here I'll bring up downloads and restore this file as an example. I can now navigate to my downloads directory on my MacBook where I can confirm that the file was restored successfully. Note that C2 Backup for macOS devices doesn't support bare metal restore at this time and I'll keep you posted when it does. If you have a Windows PC that you would like to backup, C2 Backup does provide bare metal restore for Windows devices and I covered how that all works in this video listed here on screen. Lastly, if you would like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.